Okay, there we go. Where's my game? There we go. Cool. Right, hello everyone once again and welcome to the Exapunk stream. So, uh, first of all, thank you to the Mr. Solvm for gifting me the copy of this game. I am quite excited to try it out. So, this is the Zachtronic game about software development and hacking. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, jump right into it and see how exactly it works. As usual, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Zachtronic games and they are um, always been incredibly fascinating to me. So yeah, let's let's see how that works. Okay, um, so find a source for bootleg medication, uh, play cutscene. Oh, we got we got some stories. When is the next question? I mean, you feel free to ask the questions right now. I don't mind answering them while playing video games. I can, I can multitask. <laughs> um, right, so uh, that's gonna come up. Okay, so we got some story going. Oh, there's actually voice acting in here. Looks like you definitely need it. Okay, so we got some. It's cheaper than the real deal, but. The going rate is 700 a dope. Yeah, sorry. I don't set the price. It's not like any of that money goes to me. Anyway, if you do get the money. Okay, so we need some medication apparently. Perform simple tasks to earn money at home. And we got some chat going on here. What is this? Uh, sure. I mean, uh, you can join our Discord server uh, and just poke me there as well. I will be more than happy to answer questions on Discord. That's not a not a big deal. We always chat there, you know. Right. Okay. Let's launch the workhouse. Uh, is that joke about Amazon? Uh, what was the uh, uh, Mechanical Turk? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Please no. Are you telling me I have to do it myself? Oh no. You'll be shown images of receipt generated in the course of normal everyday business. And oh, oh my God, are you for real? Oh no. Okay, we see champagne, 140. Deep, yeah, that is Amazon Mechanical Turk, Cabernet, 90. DP, Cabernet. Game, why do you have to be like this? Oyster, PL. 35 uh, no that's not that's wrong 35 there we go ny strip why does it it's a programming game why does it start with the manual work <laughs> ruffles 20 uh filet mignon 80 chc tor torte 12 special order 200 submit 10 cents. I mean, yeah, that is literally mechanical Turk. <laughs> Congratulations. God damn it, game. You only need to do 6,999 more of these and you'll have enough for today. Okay, I... Who is this? Yes, what is Don't even happening? Right now. You need that medication to stay alive, right? Yes, yeah, seems like I need that medication to stay alive. You'll need to start hacking again, though. One hack, one dose. One hack, one dose. That Easy. sounds reasonable, Deal. yes. Yeah, sh I've forgotten how. You're about to remember. Not okay. Now. Okay. Reconnect with an old friend. That is very non zactronic game, actually, so far. <laughs> okay. Hey. Got. Came by to give you something. Okay, what do you have for me? Trash world can't hack use. like I used to. Whatever edge I had, but I had to keep doing something to keep the culture alive. Computers are running everything before long, human beings. So now I equip people the knowledge to make a computer do. Anyway, okay. Right. Hope you like what you see in this. Okay, so we got some sort of a sign. Right. Now that is something that Zactronics really like. We got the dig I'm gonna open the PDF in the background because I am. Approximately 90% sure I'm gonna need it to complete the next mission. Okay. Learn to explore the network and leave no trace. Right, let us do this. Okay, uh... How about that? Yeah, 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 okay, come on. I guess. <laughs> right. Let us go. Okie dokie. Move 
File 200 out of the box. Lo leave no trace. Right. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to read the PDF to figure out how exactly this whole thing works. Um, okay, they, they even included the manifesto here. Okay, they even have their own hacker manifesto because why not, of course. Tutorial 1, the basics. Link 800. Okay, so we can do, uh, how do you, so link 800, right? I guess this is create new access. So we write the commands on one line, grab 200, right? So we, this is the link that we run. Okay, then we grab the 200, this is this file. Uh, then we link 800. This is, Traverse the link 800, so I guess we go back. No, is it gonna back or forward? I don't know. Drop, so we drop the file and we hunt, right? So, okay, theoretically that should execute. Uh, how do I create exa? No, this is the second one, so I run. Uh, that is very fast, oh. Oh, there we go. We can run it one by one. Okay, test run complete. So how do I how do I finish it? Or is that that it? Go go. No, I I mean I already know the goal. Oh, I guess I have to run like hundred runs. There we go. Okay. How do you optimize? <laughs> there. Okay. Yeah. Can no. Uh, yeah. Return to desktop. Okay. Um, who are you? Okay. What's up, cat? Right. Learn to edit files and manipulate values. There we go. That's fun stuff starts. Uh, I guess. Let's go. Processing. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. So. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've like reading is so I, i've uh how to put it i've been like i'm not a native english speaker right I'm, I'm russian actually and i've been learning english from video games for basically all my life and one of the things that i picked up is i always play with the subtitles be it movies games or whatever and i learned to read really really fast um so yes there is a thing and i keep forgetting that on streams i should probably do it slower <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, append the correct value to the end of 200 file, move 200 file out of the box, leave no trace. Okay, so we go to 800, right? We, um, I guess we need to read how to append stuff to files. We, okay, so you have to grab it first as well. Grab 200, uh, add X plus FX, write result to X. Oh God, this is literally assembly, not again. Okay, read F. Okay, so we can copy value uh, to X. So X is our register here. And F, I guess, is the file that we hold. Is that how it works? So uh, we have to use the F register, I guess. F is what it picks up. Okay, so we copy it. We add X to F and put it into X. Okay, oh, add I. Even has error highlighting. Jesus Christ, this game. Okay, then we'll multiply. Multi X F X again. The, oh, yeah. mal E. Okay, mal E. Uh, sub E. X F X. So we repeat that stuff. And then we do copy X F. Link. Okay, now we just drop it back. Uh, and then we do drop and we do hide, right? Okay, uh, so you can do that. And I guess we can just, uh, bring, oh, whoops, I screwed up, nope. There we go, and now we can run it, right? So we traverse, we pick up the file, we copy F to X, so we get 72, this is the value that was there. We add, we multiply, okay, we subtract, and then we copy it back. Oh, yes, this this is the file that we hold to so actually append the value there. I see how that works. Um, is there no sound? There should be a sound. Wait a second. 
Let me try to... It's sometimes... Is there sound now? Can you hear it? Oh, cup. Son of a... Don't do this to me. <laughs> Stop. You... <laughs> He's mocking me. I, um... I did a terrible mistake of streaming for one hour with my microphone muted a couple of weeks ago. And... Um... Yeah, I think people will mock me for the end of live now. <laughs> okay, there we go. We've done it. So you can optimize. Of course, of course, you can optimize. No. Uh, so how do we go back now? Escape. There we go. Okay. Uh, nothing is free. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love you too, man. But don't do this to me. My heart is gonna break. <laughs> All right. Learn to communicate between. Okay. Wait. So those bots can communicate. Uh, what? Um, I'm okay. I will take this concern. We're calibrating. Let's continue. Yes, okay. So, create the specified file in outside box. Delete the file 199. Leave no trace. Uh, so I guess we have to go to this box and read this file, and the other exa should create the same file but in other boxes. Is that how it works? Okay, let's see the tutorial. Jesus. Like. <laughs> Zectronic games. You can create a new file with make instruction. Okay. An exa can delete file with wipe. Two exas can communicate using the M register. One exa can write there or over there. Okay, so we need one exa which will link 800. So we first go link uh, 799, right? Uh, what was the command for picking up the file again? I think it was like grab, yeah, grab uh, 199. So then I need to write copy uh, F to M register, right? And then I need wipe and then I need halt. And we need a second exa that will link 800 and will link uh, 800 again, then it will copy, no wait, first we need to create file, there was a command for that, you can create make, okay, so a make file, we copy M to F, we drop it, and then we halt, I think that should do it, maybe, okay, let's see, so, huh? Okay, this guy goes here. This one creates a file. Oh, wait, why is it faster than the other one? It's the... Okay. Oh, I guess we have to copy two times, right? Because there's two values there. Okay, yeah, let's, let's try this again. So... And then we copy F to M again. I is it blocking or not? Will it actually wait? Okay, let's try this again. We go, 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 go. One waits. This one waits. Yeah, okay, cool. So that actually works. And a specified file in the out box. Delete file 199. Why? What do you not like? File 199 contains exactly two values, a keyboard and a number. Create a, no a new file and unbox and copy those two values too. It's swapping their... Oh, swapping their order. Hey, you son of a... Okay, so this is the trick. So, okay, so we have to copy the first value into X. Then we copy this in and then we copy X to F. This should work. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta. And it works. Okay, cool. Right, yeah, you could do it way more efficiently, but you know what, whatever. Uh, let's see what other... Like, it's it's the Zactronic games always start very slow, but um, get very tricky closer to the end. Okay, let's see. Learn to do something more than once. Okay, we're getting into loops now. Let's see. I'm um, sure it is. Yeah, no, 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 no. Sure, hell yeah, okay, let's go. So, file 200 contains exactly one number n. Create a new file in the outbox containing the n number 0 through the in decreasing order. Okay. Um, so, I create the specified file, delete the file, I leave no trace. Okay, so we can do it with one exa because we don't, we don't need to communicate, right? So, we link into 800. 
we grab file uh, we copy f into x we wipe file we link to 800 again we make file and then we need to read the manual to see how to do loops god damn it okay um <clears throat> okay you can mark copy zero into x reset the extra issue to zero define loop so we mark mark loop okay we copy f into no we copy x into f then we um what was the decrease function like sub i i think right we sub one from no wait with sub uh so you take we sub we take x we sub one and we put it back to x this is what we do and then i think that's it basically right so we do f jump Oop. oh we need a test so we need test and test would be x more than zero i guess through oh test equals zero right so i guess this is yeah equal okay and then once this is done we drop and we hide i think that should do it okay so nine eight, okay yeah yeah no very specified file oh it should write the zero as well uh so we um lower than zero i guess right so we can just modify this and test it Ta-da! nice okay i'm starting to get a hang of it i think it took me longer to figure out the zactronics but uh Thanks, yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, real hacking. All right, so what do we get? Euclid's Pizza? That's a great name for pizzeria. <laughs> okay. Free pizza, yes. Okay, sure, I'm, I'm up for free pizza. Oh God. Okay, this is getting complicated. <laughs> Append your order, file 300, to the end of order list, file 200. Know that all orders, including yours, will consist of exactly five keywords. Okay, so we got some files, 300. So this is our order, 200 is a list of things. So I guess they are just comma separated, right? Um, this part of it terrifies me. It means that I can control temperature and power of it and as well the digital cam feed. <laughs> Okay, let's let's try this. It should be straightforward, right? Uh, no, wait. Uh, grab 300. Oh, I actually need two exes here, right? So one will read the file for me, and the other one will um, push it push it to the order. Okay, so well, this is the second exa. You will link to 800. Grab 200. So you will grab 300, you will copy uh, F to M. I guess we can just make a loop here, mark loop. Wait, mark, I think, right? Yep. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I can just do it like copy five times, but it so that sounds lame. We, we want to do loop, right? So I guess we can just say copy zero to or i guess yeah zero to x right so now we can just say test x that's gonna be five instructions as well that is that is pointless i mean loops are nice and everything but if it's the same number of instructions then i'm just gonna do this <laughs> don't do this Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah, okay, that's the, the worst way to program it. <laughs> okay, so we copy all of that, and then we... Do we need to drop it or wipe it? No, 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 no. Okay, I guess we can just wipe it and halt. Grab 200. Copy. That, it is a... 
it is a performance optimization. I mean, loop, would, would that be actually? Yeah, because you won't have to use a register. That is actually true. That is a performance code right here. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> okay, copy M to F. Right. Um, copy M to F and one more. Jump, oh yeah, that's true. Jump instructions are two, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you will be wasting cycles. That is absolutely true. I haven't written assembly. I think I've, I've only, yeah, I've only ever written assembly in university on like second year or something. So I don't remember half of those things. Okay, so we copy them, we drop it, and then we hide, right? I think that should do it. So it rewrote it. Do we have to append it or do we have to rewrite it? Append. Ah, uh, okay. How do you append? Okay, back to the back to the manual I go. Okay, um divide by zero. No, wait, where's my append? Copy, add, mark, jump. File manipulations. Grab, sick, drop, wipe, test. Okay, sick. Uh, file R, copy ID, grab, no, how do I, movement, link, host, okay, so there's my manual. I guess we need to seek, move the file cursor forward or backwards, specify number of values. Okay, but we know what the things are in order, right? Of course, you can really avoid jumps if you know exactly how your data looks. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in our case, we know exactly this is gonna be five, um, Five, uh, five things in the order, right? So that's, that's an easy part. Now the tricky part for us is to traverse. So I guess we want to loop here and we want to find the last vet. What, what's gonna happen if you traverse seek RN? If seek would move the file cursor past the beginning of the end of file, it will instead be clamped. Thus you can use, ah, okay. So you can use values 9999 to reliably move to the beginning of the end. Okay, so we can uh, seek Nine, 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 nine. There we go. That's that makes it easy. Thank you very much. Okay. So, yep. Good thing the global registry is blocking. Hey, now let's test run all of that. Perfect. Eh, not exactly optimal, but uh, okay. Let's go to desktop. Enjoy your pizza. Okay. You're not hungry. <laughs> I am an AI. <gasps> oh no, AI making us work. It's an uprising a little. Okay, right. So what do we have to hack? Meeting with Nivas. All right, we got another cutscene. Delivery. Uh huh. Okay. I'm an independent operator. Economy like this. So here's your pizza. Uh huh. So we got our medicine, and we're not gonna die today, at least. Okay, cool. Ooh, we got more tasks. Meet meet Suzen HDI ten. Hack your body to repair a damaged nerve in your arm. Who, wait, what? Uh, uh, uh huh. Okay. Uh, uh okay. Uh, okay. So I'm I'm literally hacking my arm now. Perfect. Read a value from a nerve connected to your central nervous system and relate it to the nerve connected to the arm. Clamping the value so that the nerve below 120 or above 50. Repeat, add in. Okay, so we're literally building a nerve pipeline here. Oh God, okay. So we need two exits for sure. One of them is gonna go to 800 and is gonna, how do you connect to nerve? Nerve is a hardware register, not a file. You can use it directly in your code. Oh, wait, I don't have to, I don't need a second exit, all right? So I guess I, relay of nerve signals as indicated. Nerve is a hard, so okay, not a file. Okay, so we can just read it, I guess. Or how does it work? I, I'm not sure, okay, let me, let me have a look at the manual. Uh, communication, mode, void, test, how REPL, make. Uh, mode M. Okay, this is branching. X register, T register, F register, M. Okay, copy, add. Yeah, hardware register, some host running, blah, blah, blah. 
name for our register are pound sign followed by okay so this is the name of the register i just used the this is official i mean it is very cyberpunk it was from the very beginning i think but it's um right so okay so we do that we're gonna go here i guess link one is what i want to do a bunch of times link one link one so it's gonna be one 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 and one more i think right and then copy wait do i even need to go anywhere can i just copy global registers do i need copy near oh wait a second so I, do I have to be on the same slot to read this register? Is that how it works? Okay, let's try copy nerve to X. Does that actually do anything? Are, okay, so you have to be, I guess you have to be link 800, right? Out of instruction. Okay, yeah, so you have to be in the specified, in the specified place. So we do need to access. Copy to M, right? And this one goes to link 800. So you go link one, link one, link one. And then you have to copy M into nerve. And essentially, since we're doing it endlessly, we just do mark loop. And then what was the keyword again? Um, oh, was it F jump, I think? Or I can just do jump, right? Because we don't care about conditions in this case. We can just say jump uh, loop. Mark loop. Jump loop. Right? So I think that's basically all I want. And, oops. And I screwed up. Link one. Tun, tun, tun. And I think we're working. Uh, I think, okay, I read the arm value, clamping the value. Okay, so relay the nerve connected to your arm, clamping the value so the nerves goes below. Okay, so the values below 120 and above 50 should be filtered out. Okay, this is the thing. Okay, um, I guess we copy M to F and how do you compare stuff? Branch in mark jump, add copy, swizzle the value of the operands. How do I compare tests? Okay, so we can test. Uh, uh, can we do, there was a test jump, right? T jump. If the specified T, okay. So we can basically say test F more than uh, 50, T jump loop. So basically if it's more than 50, we just nope out of it. And if it's less than T jump uh, loop. And otherwise we copy F to nerve and that should work. What? Huh? What happens? Uh, I think I broke it. <laughs> okay. Copy M to F, right? No file is held. Oh, pff, ah, I'm copying to the wrong register. God damn it. Right, it should be X. There we go. Okay, I... I think, yeah, this seems to be... What are you, what is it not liking again? Cycles, yeah. Let's see, inputs. Oh, is it because of the delay? So it should be synchronized? Okay, so I guess then we just wait M for X. And then basically once we copy, we copy X to M. So we basically signal to the original uh, bot that hey, you can actually now continue working. There we go. Uh oh, okay. Uh, 
I guess, yeah, I guess we just do it over here, right? Copy. No, but that won't work the first time. Ah, God, this is tricky. I guess we can say mark exit and do copy X to M. And then uh, we just jump to exit, right? There we go. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be what no what? Yeah, it does not seem to be working anymore. Okay, wait a second. So Yeah, we copy it. Uh it's not. It's within the bounds. So we say okay, hey, you can copy the next value now. Okay, so far so good. Uh, okay, wait a second. Am I missing something again? Read the values from nerve connected to your central system related to connect your and clamping the value so it never goes below. Oh, so I'm, oh, I misread that. So basically if it's a below 120, I should just uh, copy minus 120 to nerve, right? I guess I could optimize that and just say Oops. Um, okay, how do we do that? Uh, okay, let's let's split this a bit. So we this is our movement. This is our loop. So this is our tests. Uh, this is our basic exit. Now, how do we do this properly? So if value is above, okay, is there like conditional, uh, conditional things? So T jump, mark, wrap, uh, repl, halt, kill. Not what I want. Okay, I mean the stupid way obviously would be say okay if it's. Uh, exit 50 so we can just say mark exit 50 right and be like copy 50 to nerve exit f let's call it exit f are you why are you not oh uh, this is what you don't like there we go okay and this should be exit yeah okay Oh God, I feel like I'm overcomplicating it. Jump, exit, mark, exit, M, um, copy minus 120 into nerve, right? And that's it. So in this case, uh, exit M, I think. That doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, what am I screwing up? So we are there, right? We're reading the first value, it's minus 73, so theoretically it should be just like... Yeah... Oh, right, because it literally should jump to exit here, that's why. Okay. This was the problem, I think, right? So we got 73, got 70, 69, 72, okay, so the interesting bit starts like... There we go. Okay, now we're talking. We can cure. Yeah, but I mean, I would love to hack my own stuff like this. You know, it would be very interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. Last stop, snack snack. Cause last stop factory to produce peanut free peanut blast parts. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, remove the keyword peanuts from the peanut blast recipe. Click the test run button on display above. Um, where's the test run button? Test runs. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, 
So we are interested in file 237, right? And I need to remove the keyword from, so I guess I need two X's again. One of them will just grab uh, 300, copy keyword. So it's gonna be only one keyword, which can just mean it's just copy there, wipe and hold after that, right? Uh, that was not what I wanted to do. Okay, um, now you go to link 800, you grab, uh, no, go to link 800 again, you grab file 237. How do you remove a keyword? Like one way would be to, I mean, yeah, there's a temp file, so we can write it into a temp first, right? So you can copy it into temp and then copy it back. I guess this is what it wants me to do. So I guess we mark loop, uh, copy F into X, if X, uh, no, wait, not if, how do you compare? Test, right? So we have to test jump, test in the file. Okay. Test X equal M. No, you know what? We got to first copy M into T just to be sure that it's here. So X equal T. Uh, T jump. So if it's true, then we skip it, right? If it's not true, and we copy X into temp. And then we uh, jump loop. Is that gonna work? Is it gonna do anything when the file ends? Is a question. So it takes that. Yeah, we got peanuts. Uh, the the global register is blocking so essentially before you uh, before anyone reads it the writing one will wait for it so it's, it's like you can use it to block block them basically okay so copy that copy that copy that copy that and we need a check for uh, test x equal empty I guess is that what you want me to do Mark right, let's call it right. T jump right, okay, and we write, we literally copy temp into, no wait, first we have to, oh man, this is getting tricky. So First of all, we wipe what we currently hold, right? No, we can't wipe because we... Yeah, I guess we can just traverse it back. So what was the traverse thing? Uh, sick. Minus nine and nine. So this is gonna go to the beginning of the file and then we just copy temp into F. Uh, I guess we have to copy temp into X, test X is empty, we jump and otherwise jump right, right, mark, mark, ends is gonna be drop, alt, how do you test for empty value, is it like this? Wait a second, where are the string comparison in here? Est rn rn equality always false. Wait, what? Compare, yeah, let's do compa compare string. Is there like empty? Okay, I guess you don't use test to compare strings, you use something else. 
And how did it fail last time actually while copying it? <laughs> okay, let's try. So it, it fails when it cannot read anymore from the register, right? How does it fail? Here's the question. Cannot read past of the end of file. How do you know if you're at the end of file? Come on. My file manipulation, may grab sick, void R. Oh, test A. Okay, so you can test end the file literally. Uh, okay, uh, blah, 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 blah. we copy that. Um, okay, copy that. Test, yeah, off. T jump, T jump uh, to right. Okay, there we go. And we test, yeah, off. T jump. Uh, and okay, I think that should do it. Come on, come on, come on. Copy all of that stuff. We, yeah, we got, yeah, okay. Oh, god damn, I'm an idiot. Right, uh, mark right loop. This is what we want. Loop. What? Oops, mark. Mark is what I want to say. There we go. Okay. Is there a like button I can press or oh tab? Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, yes. What? Why is it not progresses? Temp register only holds one value. Is that how it works? Oh no. Wait, is temp. Temp is literally a temperature. Oh my god, I screwed everything up. <laughs> god damn it. That is not what I wanted to do. Okay. Which means we need a. We definitely need a th one more exa, right? So we need. We need a reading one. And we need a writing one. So copy fx if x, so we write it into m. Wait, uh, what did I just remove? Uh, I removed the wrong thing. Okay, so we, yeah, we kill all of that. Okay. If it's end of file, we just end, we drop and we hide. Now wait, how does that work? Oh God, this is getting tricky. So, wait, I basically, what I need to do is I need to, if the current value is peanuts, I need to take the next value and rewrite it, right? How do I do that? Okay, so we take the current, if it's peanuts, Hmm. So if it's peanuts, then we actually copy file again. That would mean we move one position, right? That means we can see. Ah, but then we have to go through. Oh God, how do you do that? Now this is tricky. Okay, I think. Wait. Hmm. <laughs> so remove. Oh, wait, remove the value highlighted by the file cursor from it. Oh God, there is a function for it. Of course, there is a function for it. Void F. It was 20 times easier than I expected. <laughs> I just, I love overthinking things. Right, um, mark loop. So we, yeah, we re if it's not, then we jump loop again. Uh, yeah, it actually should be mark and right avoid f drop alt this is literally all the ones to jump and okay so if we found the peanuts we just drop it and i 
think that should be eh? wait wait what so x compared to t where why is it not wait a second am i comparing the wrong things Oh god, come on, what am I doing wrong again? Um copy we copy f to x, right? So we got that. Copy m to t, so we got that. Okay, let's see step by step. So let's go go go. Okay, peanuts are now in global registry. Peanuts are now in t. We copy f to x. Okay, it is good. This is what I expect. We copy this. It's not peanuts. Why is t zero now? What happened to T? Or is T temporary? Wait a second. Okay. T register is general purpose storage register and can store a number of keywords. It's also a destination for test instructions. God damn it. This is what's wrong with it. Okay, so I guess we have to... Can I not read them? I just be like... Compare this to M and then I void F and then I'm copy M to T and then I just destruct. Does that work? And M is empty again. Okay, so I have to copy it, but I cannot copy it to T because T is temporary. So I guess I have to copy M to X. It means I copy this to T. Because I don't really care about it, right? So I can just compare it and forget about it. T to X. And then we're going to need this instruction. Okay. I think that should work, great. Right? Get peanuts stored. We got cocoa. Okay, now it's zero. We got peanuts. Now it's one. We go to N. We drop it. And. Uh, huh? Wait, it did. Did it void it? Oh, it voids the next position because it reads it. Okay, so basically once we detect that, we should... Is the file operations? Sick one backwards. Okay, so sick minus one. This is what we want to do, right? So we find peanuts. We go back, we delete peanuts, and we drop it out. There we go. Hey, we solved it. Okay. <laughs> that took way longer than I wanted it to be. God damn it. Okay. Hilarious, yes, that was hilarious, and I totally overcomplicated the thing too much. Right, I think let's do the last one and wrap this up here for today because I'm. <laughs> this is too much. Erase the record of Gus Depp to the copy shop. Okay, let's do this. Alright, um. So. Zeroing out his balance as a customer database file to hundreds, a pending payment and appending a payment to payment log 201 with today's date and exact amount of the prior balance. Okay, so you gotta go to the 200 and find. Okay, so we need the first one which would grab 300 and copy F into M, right? And then wipe. And then halt. So this basically, this one will grab the ID that we need, put it into global registry and destroy. Then we need a second one, which will go into 800, grab a file 200. Oh no, we, we cannot really self-destruct. We need a second one. We need to copy it one more time. So, okay. Uh, now it's gonna copy uh, M into X, so we have the ID. Now we're gonna mark loop. We're gonna loop over file. We copy T into, oh, we copy file to T. We test if T equals X, so we find the registry, which means this is gonna be uh, T jump. So if it is true, be true. If it's not, then we just jump into loop again. But if it is true, 
so uh, buh, 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 zeroing out the balance and appending the payment to the paint file is today and okay so we need the balance we need to copy the balance which means we copy f uh what's this which one is the balance actually zero zero sixteen Oh, it's the both, both values are. Okay, so we copy F into M twice, right? So this is gonna move it to global registry. Hmm, oh my God, this is tricky. I guess we copy them, then we sick minus two, then we copy zero to M twice, to F, sorry. Then we drop and then we hide, right? So this theoretically should do what we want. Now we need another exa. Huh? We'll link it hundreds that will grab uh, 201. And we'll copy M into X. So this will be our ID. And we'll find this thing in the file, right? So we will traverse the file until we find the ID. Copy F into T, test T equal X. Oh, wait, we... With today's date, how do I know today's date? That's right with today's date. Do we take like this latest? Guest customer ID is available in this. So what is today's date? How do I know that? Is there a function to write date? No trend, no op, control F, date. Transactions, credited. Okay, so there's a manual section that describes transactions, which is kind of nice. Uh, dumpster donuts. Yeah, this is not it. Run timers. This is not what I want. Did you cash workhouse? Okay, equity first bank. I think I need to read that manual a bit more in depth. <laughs> right, so this is a tricky one. I guess we take the latest date we find. So if we find the current ID, no, we don't, we don't find the current ID, right? We actually don't care about that because we don't have the transaction for the hour. Uh, so we don't need the loop. We go to the last position we sick minus one, two, three, four. This is gonna give us a date. Copy F into T. So this is gonna be our date. And we go to the end again. We copy T into F. We copy our X into F. So this is gonna fill the file with a date and ID. And then we copy M into F and copy M into F again. I I think that should do it. Drop and halt. Let's see. So, okay, so this one copied the ID first. So this one grabs the ID first, right? Now. Can I read past the end of file? Okay, right. Um, F into X. Then X into M, copy X into M. This is what I want to do. Okay. Okay, this one got ID as well. So this one, copy the text, copy the ID, right? So it's now sick to the end. Append the ID, append the Yes, now it's gonna wait for the values. Right, so now this script searches for values. That's not it, that's not it. What? Wait, what just happened? Wait, 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 wait. What did, 
what, what, what was the problem here? Okay, so it copied zeros, right? Drop. Alt. It works, right? No, it doesn't. What's wrong? Wait. Okay, so at some point it breaks, I guess, because of the input values. When does it break? I guess we can optimize it, right? Because it takes too much time. So we copy value, then we test. Otherwise we sick plus two, right? Because we don't care about those two values actually. I think. Oh wait, uh, is it plus two? I think it is plus two, right? Yeah, it is plus two. Okay, there you go. That's gonna save us some cycles. So. It breaks on this test run 30. So where's the test run 30? Oh, okay, you can debug it specifically. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's see. Uh, okay, so we write that. What about this one? Find the value. It doesn't zero them out. Wait, wait, what? No, it does. There you go. Zero, zero. Yeah, drop. Halt. Is it because the date is not today? How do you know the date? This contains the date? No, this is something completely different. Like I assumed the date would be, oh, fuck, there's a, God, I'm an idiot. There is a date registry, literally. God damn it. Bloody hell. Okay. Link 800, link 801. Uh, copy date into X. Okay, so how do I make it work? Huh, now that's tricky. I guess I can go there and grab the date first. Where's our, so this is copies the, yeah, I guess we can just uh, copy M to X, grab to one, no. We go to uh, 800, we go to 801. We copy date into T, right? Then we go back, grab file. Okay, so we no longer need to stick the date. I think that should do it. Does it have a date? Yeah, it have a date, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice. That is super inefficient compared to everything else. God damn it. But uh, hey, it worked. All right. Um, I don't know what Zebras is. Okay, but this this was like, this is really cool. Um, all right, we got another cutscene, but you know what? If this looks great, then do check it out. This is Exapunks by Zactronics, available on Steam. You can grab it right there if you like it. This. So far, I've been really awesome. Uh, I mean, just about as any other Zactronics games. Yeah, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice rest of the weekend. Bye.